here's a question I've never heard, heard asked of Flat Earther, and it doesn't really matter, but I'm interested. What do you think the Southern Lights are? The, the Great Northern Lights and the Great Southern Lights. What do you reckon they are? Any, any ideas? Oh, just a light show. No different than... Yeah, just, just part of the... It's just an interesting part of the sky. It's just decoration, really. So do you think that they are actively... Like, is there an, like a light switch on-off button that some entity is putting on a show for us? Or sure. are they a natural, a natural, uh, a natural outcome? No, I don't... I, I, I'll, I'll take it. What's the line for Mission Impossible? No, it's way worse than you think. I don't think anything's natural. Anything at all. I think literally every part of our lives is a con, part of a controlled system. Okay. Um, so the, the, one of the most common um, statements by flat earth is to, to uh, back up the flat earth is that yeah. a water always finds its level. Yes. I'm wondering why, forget on the other side of the world, yeah. but within the same ecosystem where I am in Dunedin, my high tide will be at a different time from 100 kilometers up the coast, um, which will be different from a high tide, the, the time high tide is going to happen, another yeah. 100 kilometers on, which will be different. Let's say uh, Sydney's on one coast. On the other coast is the west coast of, uh, let's say uh, for, for New Zealand is Taranaki. Um, they are on opposing sides of the same body of water. Right, right, Why right. are their tides different? If it was, If I was to understand this idea of the pizza... Yeah. If I tip water into the pizza, it's all going to level. It's all going to be the same level. Why are tides different at different places? If water finds its level, then surely all the water on this flat plane should always be at the same level. You know, out of all the questions I've gotten, I have never gotten that one. The way it was, it's, seriously, that, that as the, I have never gotten that question in five years. Um, because, the way you phrased it. I mean, some people have said, you know, they, they've questioned the tide system. Um, so why do we even have tides at all, for example? Um, the underwater, okay, the water that's on, the, whether it's a ball or a pizza, uh, the water is sloshing around, mostly because of thermal issues. I mean, the underwater conveyor system, which is massive and transfers ungodly amounts of energy from, from one place to the other, combine that with, I don't know, the molecular magnetism you know, that you want to call as gravity and just create some sloshing. It's, it's not, it doesn't, if it was dead still, we'd be in real trouble. Let's put it that way. You can't have a, a dead still uh, system. And does, that, still... does that really answer my question though? I mean, let's use Sydney and Taranaki because they're on a, a, a long way apart, but on opposing sides of the same body of water. Right. No, no, I know. I know you're, you're saying why, why is the water? The level, the, if the water finds its level, the yeah. water should be at the same level at Sydney as it is at uh, New Plymouth, okay. which is the city. All right. I the, the short answer for that is that still water finds its level. If you take a bathtub and you fill it up with water and every two minutes you run your hand back and forth underneath it, that water is never going to flatten out. It's just never going to happen. So, but if you leave it for 10 minutes, hey, it's flattened out perfectly. The oceans of this world never, ever going to completely flatten out. There's too much energy transfer. There's too many things go, hell, the wind alone. Okay. It's, that that let, no, let me ask you this then, because yes. if I was to believe what you were saying, I yes. wouldn't be able to predict the tides in six months from now. I've got a shit. If we're just sloshing around, no, no, no. I mean, no, it's, predict a, it's predictable. But, but, but I'm. But if it's just sloshing around, right. how do I know exactly when the high tide is going to be in Sydney and exactly when the high tide is going to be in uh, New Plymouth on the first of January, twenty twenty one? No, I got you. It's well, no, because it is predictable. I mean, but just because it's predictable doesn't mean it's, it defies a flat level water surface. It's only still water lies flat. The tides make sure that there's always something moving around you know, and some places are worse than, than most, but that's all we're really talking about here. I mean, it's, but it's very predictable, extremely predictable. I'm struggling with that one. I mean, look, I mean, I, I, I possibly, we were both aware that at the end of this, we may not change our position. <laughs> But I'm always open to an interesting conversation. That I mean, that feels like maybe you should be. A, I don't know the answer to that, rather than because that one does seem a bit flimsy of all the answers you've given so far. Respectfully. Oh, uh, that's fine. 